Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. I was crossing the boardwalk the other day, and as I got close to Turtle Rock, I noticed there was a turtle there. Not just one turtle, though, but two turtles. And we had a really great way to be able to compare Minnesota's two most common turtles. The smaller turtle is Minnesota's most common kind of turtle, a painted turtle. Now, these are the ones that we see on rocks and logs all around the different ponds and lakes that we have because they love to bask. Painted turtles get to be around seven inches in length and usually the males are going to be smaller than the females. The top shell, the carapace, tends to be dark colored but it gets its name painted turtle because there's striping on its head and legs that has bright yellow in it and a lot of times the bottom shell has orange coloring to it, orange or red. And so it almost doesn't look real. It looks like somebody painted it on. All right, so then you look at a snapping turtle. These turtles are bigger. They get up to maybe 14, 15 inches long. They weigh a lot more. They can weigh up to 35 pounds. They have strong claws on all four of their very strong limbs. But they have a vulnerability. Even though they've got that big hard upper shell, they don't have much of an undershell. And what the problem is, is if they're on land and a predator like a coyote catches them, it can try to flip them over and get to that soft underbelly. But another thing that a snapping turtle has to its advantage is it has a really long neck that it can use to protect itself like this. I'm demonstrating using one of the small snapping turtles that we have. But the large snapping turtles can do this too. They use their necks and they can flip themselves upright as fast as they're getting turned over. This time of year, we're seeing turtles away from the ponds because this is egg laying time. So both snappers and painted turtles will leave the pond area, sometimes traveling a couple of miles away to where they'll dig a hole and lay their eggs. Snappers will lay between 20 and 30 eggs. The painteds, maybe 10 to 20. They'll bury the eggs and then go back to the pond and never go back and check on what happens to those turtles that will hatch out. The snapping turtles will hatch out in the fall and leave the nest and head to a pond. Painted turtles will sometimes stay in the nest over the winter and they're able to survive cold temperatures and then we'll see them in the spring, like we've been seeing them this year around the property. So the next time you're out by a pond or by a lake, keep an eye out for turtles. All you might see is their nose sticking out of the water, but know that the turtles are always there. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.